Hi everyone, it's Tara. Welcome back to Tara's Take. So today I pulled out the folio and I thought maybe we'd do a few things to it. Um, this is a craft with me day and uh, so we don't really have to worry about you know any specific order of what we do. I have pulled out my um, this is a snap fastener kit. It's all Ritz. I did get it on Amazon. I will link it in the description box below. Um, it's It was a good deal. It comes with 120 sets of snap fasteners. And as you can see, they're in multicolors. There's black, brass, or you know, antique bronze, whatever. Um, gun metal, and silver, and gold. So yeah, um, I haven't used it in a minute. So I was looking at the journal and making sure that I can you know, I want to, I think I want to do a snap for this journal because it's a pretty sturdy, um, it's pretty sturdy made for this folio. And so even though it's, even though it's paper, I'm going to be going through paper and cloth. And so that usually, you know, will make it pretty strong. And so I have, uh, I'm so excited. I got this ruler, the zero ruler with this, the compass in the middle, you know, you can actually get an, an, an accurate <laughs> measurement for the center of something. I'm really, really bad about figuring out the math on that. So yeah, this is a godsend for me. Um, I paid like four bucks for it or something. I mean, it was just really cheap online. So I can actually, oh, maybe I paid a little more for this one. I don't know. It might've been eight, but I will try to remember to link this as well. I'm trying to get better. You guys, I promise I really am. Um, now what I was going to do is I was going to take a pencil let me get one that's got a little better. <clears throat> okay. Um, and I was looking here to, to see. I want to put it where it's still within the cloth on this part, just so it, it makes it a little stronger. Um, so I think I'm going to put the snap probably about right there. So it's it's well in. So Because it could, I mean, if you do a snap like this on certain things, it could rip after a while because people are going to be, you know, popping it open, popping it open. So, but this one's going to be back far enough, I think, that it will be, um, you know, it'll be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get this centered up here so I can actually mark, I think it's about, yeah, it's like four. And I've got a little overhang down here on the envelopes, which it doesn't, I don't worry about that. I mean, it it does center if you push it in. Once it gets snapped, I think it'll probably be fine. Um, that's the kind of stuff with junk journals I don't worry about, just because I know that I can, I know that I can decorate around it, or I can just kind of make it, you know, fit and look good. You know what I mean? So it's about a half an inch on each side. It's just shy of a half an inch on each side. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this up here, and I want to do it about right there, so, okay, so let's see, I'm going to mark it right here, this is where I'm going to put the snap, so I want to be able to see, probably should have used a marker or something, but that's blending right into that flower, <laughs> okay, so now, on this side, okay, I want to make sure, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a hole here, and oh, where's my, where's my pokey tool? Of course, it's buried on the bottom here. Let's see. Bear with me, kids. I gotta pull this out. I want to use, um, you know what? I'll use my thinner one just because I don't want to do a huge hole. I just want to poke this through so that I can uh, see it. You know. Okay. Just kind of giving that. <clears throat> there we go. And now, I wonder, I wonder, wonder, probably won't work, but we're going to give it a shot. I just want to see if I can get that to go through as well. It did. Yay. Praise the Lord. <laughs> because that's the part that was going to be hard. Because if you watch, this opens up, and this is actually going to be poked through back here. Okay. So, yeah. That's a little bit, uh, a little bit different. There we go. So, it'll go this part will be right here, see. Okay, so hopefully I can uh, 
I've never done this in front of anybody. It doesn't always come out perfect. So I'm hoping that I can hammer this in because you use these to, to hammer it in. And I'm gonna use my grandpa's little hammer I've shown you guys before. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna pull out my directions just because. See, it comes with your installation directions. <laughs> And what you do is you use this piece, okay? And because I've done that hole, or I mean this piece, sorry about that. Um, I've done that hole there so I can see where I want to put this. And you just, sorry for the loud noise, guys. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't do that right there. I just realized I've got my glass mat underneath me. I'll bust it. Ugh. Wouldn't that be just like me? It would, guys. You just don't know. I'll tell you a little anecdote in a minute. You can't remind me because you're not here. I started to say remind me. <laughs> See, I do feel like you're with me. Um, yeah, last night I, I actually knocked out the electricity on my whole wall here. Yeah, just by trying a new trick for you guys that I wanted to show y'all. And so, yeah, I almost killed our chances of seeing each other for a minute because who knows when it would have gotten fixed. But the Lord is good and I prayed and I was like, Lord, please don't let that happen. So you just tap this, okay? And it makes a little, it pushes through because it's sharp on that edge, okay? I'm so sorry for that loud noise. But if you see, now we have that little perfect hole. And I, you know what, I'm thinking just now, and I bet, I bet you guys already thought of it. You could probably, I could just use my, um, my eighth of an inch uh, crocodile. Crocodile, I always call it crocodile. Let's try that. Let's just try that this time, okay? Okay, so I've done that little hole already. So technically, I kind of think Let's see if this will fit through. It might go through without doing anything. Where's it at? I can't see it on this side now. There it is. I just want to see if, no, it won't. Okay. All right. So I'm going to grab my crocodile. I just want to use, see if it'll work. Because of the depth of it, I think it probably will, and I don't have to hammer in your ears. Bummer, I don't get to hammer in your ears. No, I'm kidding. I'm just playing. Okay, where's that? There it is. All right, so I'll probably do it from this side because I can actually see it. Okay, so yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna put it right there to the center and hopefully this is not, I wonder if the hole's bigger. Uh, I don't want it to be a bigger hole, you know, that's 316 stuff, than it's supposed to be either. So let's see. I think it's approximately the same, but let's see. We're gonna try it, guys. We're just gonna do it. I mean, I already know to go right through, but I think it's approximately the same. Not far off, you know. I'm just gonna trim. If you guys can't see, let me pull this back. It left the cloth a little bit rough right there, so I'm just kind of trimming that off. Okay, so now I will have to hammer this part though. So now what we do is, let me look again here just so I make sure I get it right. Yeah. So you put that part. Yeah, this guy. Okay, so this guy goes on the outside. Okay. Did I get all the right colors? Yes. And you know what? Should we use the... See, I was thinking the gunmetal because of the darkness of this, but then, you know, I always use... I think I'll go ahead and use the antique brass. I like it better, personally. I bet all of you do, too. Well, I'm not going to speak for you, but I'm thinking most of you love antique brass because of what we do, so... Kind of makes sense. Okay. Just got to find the other piece the other piece. There we go. There's that one. There's that one. That one and that one. Okay, good. Now, what we're going to do is you insert the cap through the hole 
okay so that cap is this little guy right here push these back this is very clumsy for me I'm not used to doing this kind of work in front of anybody so you push this through the hole okay right there lay it flat and then let me see oh yeah and then you just put this little guy on top okay and then you take this and you put it no no where is he where'd he go I lost him here sorry you take this guy and you put him here okay and then you tap just just tap that together okay I'm just gonna just making sure it's on there good okay and now these two we bring over to this side and you want to lay this out okay underneath on the flat part insert the post through the hole so that's this little guy this this part that's flat and has like the skinny okay so we insert that one through the hole and we put this underneath okay I think or do we use I'm just making sure I want to make sure I do this right because I've got one chance I don't want to mess it up you know what I'm saying okay and then we take this and we put this piece over the cap okay and we tap oops do you know what I did <laughs> I put it on the wrong side I don't know just oh thank god it came off oh, that's too funny Okay, yeah, this side needs to go on the other side. <laughs> this part sits out, okay? And this part is what goes through this area here. Oh my goodness, that's funny. <laughs> I am a funny girl, huh? Yeah, I screw things up mightily at times. I told ya. <laughs> oh well, praise the Lord. I'm okay. Y'all okay? <laughs> we're good, right? We're all good. Okay, so now we're going to do this again. And we pound that down. And now those should be fine. Now, this is how our closure is going to work on this folio. And I'll cover that with paper or, you know, a pocket or something like that. So they'll never even know it's there, um, whoever purchases this. But now you bring this back over, and it should snap. Come on, snap. <laughs> oh, no. Come on, snap. Now, this is the only thing I was worried about, is this part here, if, it, if it's not opened enough, um, yeah, got to get that in there just, is it this one? It's not this one. Yeah, it's this one. I'm right about it. Okay. We just got to make sure that we get that so that that little round piece will fit down in there. I hope I didn't mess it up. No, this side's not the end though. Let's see. Uh, it's a bummer if it does. I'll have to take it off and redo it. And there we go. There we go. Now it's snapping. Okay. Okay, so that's our closure. And hopefully it's not too loose because it's coming off really pretty easy yeah it seems to be well we'll leave it for now I want to move on but if it doesn't work out I'll fix I'll do something else and I'll show you guys so I think it'll be fine I might take a little bit of hot glue and um, put it underneath so make sure that this this part is good and tight because it seems like it's pulling a little bit when it just a tiny bit though so hopefully it's fine but anyway there you go guys that's how to use those fasteners they are pretty cool I have used them on another journal I made and they it was adorable so I just really liked them it's when I saw them, somebody else use them one time I was like oh I want to get those and yeah so. okay so now I'll show you what all we've done 
so we have our little folio is a little bit decorated and not a lot but as you can see I did put on that beautiful cloth that I adore so much and I have no idea what I'm gonna do to the outside of this yet but we'll decorate her up and make her pretty and then you open it up and you've got all this writing space okay I think it's really cool and I don't know you know I may do some I don't know, I may do some collaging around the edges. I kind of like, you know, I told you guys before, I love writing space in journals, so I'm not sure yet what we'll do. So right here we have the music sheet. We have a pocket here, and then we can turn this this way. We have another pocket, and here is where I sewed in the paper. Okay, this is all coffee dyed, tea dyed, um, onion dyed. Uh, leatherized, you know, kind of some of it's kind of stamped, just whatever paper I thought it was fun. I didn't want to get too, you know, uh, specific. I told you I'm kind of in an eclectic mood lately, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to have fun with it. And um, yeah, so we are going to do that with this journal, I hope, or this folio. Uh, this page, I think, is yeah, it, this is all glued down. I thought I'd decorate on here somehow or possibly just leave it you know maybe I'm gonna of course uh, distress it but you know I don't know yet and I may I probably will take a piece of paper and put it in here to kind of strengthen this a little bit might put a pocket here um, now this part I like this is the folder part it's what kind of oh is that coming up yes a little bit look at that um, catch these little things you know when you see them what I was going to say is that's kind of what started this folio was me wanting to do something with the manila folder that I had found in my drawer. And I thought, oh, you know what? I've seen Tina use them and I've seen others use them. So let's make a folio. That was, that was the whole, that was the whole bit about this. So anyway, there's this little pocket and then this side flips open and the other one on this side. And then we have this as a pocket. Okay. And you turn it here, and we have, um, this is not pocket yet, but it probably will have, definitely have some decoration on here. This is another pocket, okay? And these flips were added with paper, as you can see, digis. Here's another pocket. Here's a pocket here. And then you turn, and here is a pocket here, another pocket here with an envelope, and then that's the back, okay? And then this part here opens up Oh wait, I did that part, didn't I? Let me see, what is it? There's a part here that opens and I was... Oh, here we go, I'm sorry, it's the other way. Now you open from the front, it goes this way, and then we have a pocket here. I haven't done anything here yet, there's a pocket here. And then there's two more right here that are, they're kind of tight, but they'd be good hiding spots. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, so it opens like, like that, like that, like that, and then flips open from over here, here, and then back here, okay? So I, I actually would have liked to add more, but um, I ran out of envelopes, and so that's why I ended up using some digi paper uh, to create some more turns in it. Um, yeah, I kind of like it to have a little bit more than this, but you know, it's okay, it's okay. It's got, you know, it's nice. I think my first couple of ones I did, I did a few more than this, and that's why I'm kind of like, oh, it needs more, because <laughs> I did a little bit more. But anyway, so you guys get the point. I kind of distressed a little bit around this edge. I was looking at it this morning, and I was thinking, you know, what could we do? Um, I definitely want to do something with this. I don't know, I don't want to take away all the writing space, but I kind of want to at least decorate it somewhat. Um, you know what? I was just, <laughs> oh, you know, you just sometimes you got to go for things you think of. You got to be brave and just do it, right? Well, I just got this stencil and I even used it last night and it's a little bit wet. I've got to dry it here. Just one second. Let me dry this off. I don't want to sit it on there with it wet. Um, I was just thinking it'd be kind of cute to maybe spray some 
yeah, I just got this one. Let me see. Can you guys see it okay? See, it's an A4, so it's like way bigger than we need. But um, I was just thinking that we could really grunge this out a little bit by, we need to cover this side here. But I was thinking we could really kind of have a little fun grunging this out with some some of our Tim Holtz sprays here. And I've got all these little fun sprays. I've been collecting them, guys. I'm getting ready to... This blues, these blues, no. But we can use some browns and vintage. Yeah. And green, of course, I always like with my... See, this is walnut stain. So I'm just, I don't even care if it kind of gets on the edges a little bit simply because I like that grungy look and I know this is going to make a mess so just bear with me you know how I am I'll clean it up here in a second um, maybe I'll put a few wipes around the edges and that way my desk will not be totally trash how's that that'll be you know I don't I don't have a ton of like actually you know what I do have I just realized uh, I have paper towel so it's been under my other desk and so I, I haven't used it but that would be much better than using up my wipes for that here there we go everybody feel better I feel better I feel better <laughs> okay all right let's do this let's see and then we've got um, let's see we've got this green, which is mowed, mown lawn. I think this one is the one I want. Peeled paint. Yeah, we're going to do some. We can get most of the Eiffel Tower in there. It's just, you know, a visual. It's not even going to be. And I'm only, I'm, I'm going to kind of, I wish I could, I could pull this down a little bit better. And you know what I have for that too, and that I never use, that I should? These. Watch. Just put that there. Duh. You know, it's why you buy these tools and then I, half the time I don't use them. I do declare, you guys. That's me. Is that any of you? Or is it just me? You buy stuff and then don't use it and then go, oh, you know, I should have used that. <laughs> so, okay. Here we go. Let's just let's just go for it. And because it's purple, the, the green I think will be okay. Um, I just kind of wanted to make some impression. Oop, don't move it, T. Let's see. Okay. All right, you guys ready for the big reveal? We'll distress this. <laughs> anyway. Oh, see? See? It's not bad, right? Right? It's kind of cute. So now they've got they've got writing space, but you know, we've also got some something fun, you know, and it went down into the cloth, which I like. Now of course it's spreading as it dries, so it's gonna kind of have that blurred effect, which is okay. Now I would use my tool, my heat tool to dry this, but guess what, you guys? That's that was the um that was the one casualty of me knocking out this wall last night. My heat tool burned out. It was the only casualty. Praise the Lord. I was like, oh my goodness, because I had my computer, my television, my DVD player, my lamps, my phone, my sewing machine, everything that was on this wall, okay, and could have died. So I'm so grateful that it did not. Now I've got all this on here and I'm thinking that we need to do something with it and not waste it. So I'm just going to give this a try. I have no clue if this will actually work and I, I just, I'm, I'm just grabbing something that's next to me here, which is some music paper. Um, I better hurry before it does dry and I'm just going to lay this stencil this way. I know it's backwards. I don't really worry about that. Not right now. This is just for fun. Let's just, I don't know. Let's just see. It might just dot it up and be grungy and totally, you know, 
but I just thought it'd be kind of fun to... Yeah, it just dotted it up. But look how grungy it is. I like it. I know. I'm a goofball. I like grungy stuff a lot. A little more. <laughs> there we go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pause this for just a second. I want to run this over to my sink. Okay, hold on just a second. I'll be right back. Oh, you know what? I can't. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay. So yeah, so we have this. I really like that. I hope you guys do too. I think it's fun. This part right here. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking, let's see here. How about, I don't know, we'll see. You can see what I'm doing. I'm just holding this here so that it blocks, you know, from going back over onto, I'm just spotting it, okay? There. So it looks like we meant to do that. <laughs> A little bit, okay. Get my chair back over here. I'm glad I remembered the paper towels. Duh. I've had them over there for weeks. I was using them for something else here a while back. And... Okay. All right. So, now, let's see here. What do you guys want to do? Um, I actually was thinking that it might be kind of fun to do some different things to the edges of the pages, you know, like even um, doing some, what do you call it, some burnishing of flakes, uh, some distressing, even maybe using some paint to, um, you know, just kind of, I like Tina's little method. It's fun to just take a paper towel and do that. So yeah, I'm thinking I want to try something. I know this is just liquid pearl, but I don't have, right now, I don't have any paints next to me other than this. These are paints, so, you know, you can use them. They're acrylic. So I was just wondering, this has got the reds in it, so I was thinking maybe we could just kind of put some paint around the edges and I don't do much painting with you guys. Well, actually, I've not done any yet. But um, yeah, I do. I do use paints a lot. I've only done what the jelly plate. That's about it. And I'm just thinking to do a little bit of red on this one because of the colors that are in it, and then do some distressing. Um, I don't even know how good this is gonna look. I'll be honest. I just didn't want, I'm using this paint because I, I love the color for one thing, but also because I don't want to get up and leave you guys alone again and pause the video and all that stuff like I do sometimes. Okay. And because it's acrylic, it does dry pretty quick. Take some of this. Let me do just a little bit more right there. Isn't that red beautiful? It's, um, what is it called? Merlot. If anybody's interested, it's the Liquid Pearls from Ranger. Merlot. Ranger's got some awesome products. I mean, setting aside Tim Holtz stuff, it just their stuff is really, you know, they've got awesome. Now, yeah, it's already drying that fast. Let's see if we can put some of this down on top, if it'll stick. Let me see. I don't know if it will or not. It's too dry probably, but let's see if it'll burnish. Nope, we'll have to put a little bit of glue. That's okay. I 
I just thought, you know, I really wanted to play with this this one and our new our new altered book. Um, I'm so I'm not I don't want to say I'm regimented about my journals, but I tend to be a little bit regimented about my journals, and I don't know where my tweezers are, you guys. It's so annoying. I wish I could find them here. My husband borrowed them and after that and it's funny because I could swear he brought them back and that I put them back and I can't find them for the life of me and I'm just I don't know I'm like where did they go you know um yeah still can't find them they have not reappeared in my drawer <laughs> did I throw them over here no I'd like to have them to reach in this bag because I don't want it all over me but that's just tough it's going to get all over me I guess Anyway, um, what I was saying was I'm not super regimented, I guess, most uh, about some things. But when it comes to to doing my journals, I I think I'm a little bit regimented, and I I don't want to be. So, um, yeah. So I'm trying to learn how to kind of have fun and just do what comes to me and see how it turns out. <laughs> I think. Um, you know, the reason I haven't brought the art journal on, I am I told one of you uh, in a comment, I'm, I'm intimidated by it. I am. I am. I'm intimidated to do it and in front of you, for sure. But I'm even intimidated to do it by myself. Isn't that silly? Come on, guys. Give me some wisdom here, you know, about the art journal thing, because I'm just really new at it. I, I, I really just don't know what I'm doing with it. You know, I, I used to think, what's the point? Now I'm kind of like, okay, the point is to enjoy it for yourself. I get that. And to just, you know, do what comes natural. Um, I guess. <laughs> yes, I mean, I get like, uh, I don't really. Yeah, I'm being silly. But that's me. Once in a while. You're, you get to, now that you guys are getting to know me more, you'll hear more and more of my human, my humanity and my fallacies and you know faults and all that stuff and that's what makes friendships right that's what that's what causes bonding I hope is that you understand that I'm right where you are I'm nowhere I'm nowhere near where some of you are I'm so far behind some of you it's it's laughable that you're watching me and I thank you that you're watching me because I'm aware that I'm so far behind you um, I'm actually liking that Anything with gold burnished around it, I like. I know the red looks awful, but, you know, it's okay. I'm thinking the gold will uh, kind of boost it a little bit, you know. So, I hope. <laughs> I'm just going to do it around the edges, so that's what I'm going to do on this page. It just kind of looks fun to me. These are like little quarters almost. Yeah, they're all stuck together. I don't want to waste it, but, and I've got those other colors of this, so I was thinking, you know, because I had said I don't want to stick to one particular color in this folio, I just kind of want to have fun, um, I was thinking it'd be fun to use some of those really bright colors that I got in that kit, you know, of these flakes, so, we'll see. I like the gold. Love the gold. Even though it's messy. It's such a beautiful result, you know, that I just, I don't care about the mess. Just gonna bring some more up on this edge. And if I could get this up here, that'd be good so it doesn't get wasted. So how is everybody doing? It's what day of the week is it? It's Tuesday when this video will go up. For me, actually it's Tuesday for me too. It's it's last Tuesday for you guys. Like it's you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm recording a week ahead. So it's last Tuesday for you guys. 
we did the mass Monday yesterday. That's a more current video, of course. I do that one on this this time. I did it on a Sunday. I usually I usually record mass Monday on Saturdays. So, but this time I did it because we went to the movies last weekend and all that good stuff. So I did not record on Saturday. I actually took a day off, which was you know it was fun. I missed I missed talking to you guys though. I have to admit, you know. Even though I, I totally enjoyed my day. I, I do miss you guys when I don't record a video. <laughs> Let's see. Because I know the reward later is that, you know, you guys comment and we talk. You know, so then there's the people I've been talking to are there. And that's nice. I'm not going to worry about these gold flakes. They can just be there. They're gold flakes. Who doesn't like gold flakes? dry. Do one more little corner over here, I think. Look right through here. Oops, no wonder. I'm just using this <coughs> glue stick because it's easy to apply it and it, it seems to take it okay. I've got that glue. I did get this from um, Hobby Lobby. But it's a wet glue and it, you know, it's kind of takes a little longer to dry than I really want right now. If I were doing it by myself and it was just me here and yeah, duh, by myself, just me. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. If I weren't recording and it was just me, I, uh, I would probably try the other, but for right now this works faster. I'll just let that sit there for a second because if I, if I've been pushing it too fast, if I don't wait it doesn't dry enough and then it kind of rubs off more than I want to rub off so let's see make sure I get every little spot covered okay okay now we will let that dry for a minute and I'm gonna get a wipe and clean my fingers because that's all I'm gonna do on that page it's just those areas right there I'm going to clean off my desk real quick, or try to get some of the flakes off of here. They're pretty, uh, wipes work pretty good, actually. So I just wanted to get some of the glue off. I know i got to burnish it still, but does it work to burnish it with just like a cloth so I don't have to get that all over me? I think the skin works better. Yeah, I didn't let it dry long enough, so it's kind of dodgy. I'm impatient. I've told you guys that at times I can be impatient about stuff like this. It's like that one time I was watching Dragana. Um, and she was making her own jelly plate. And if anyone knows, uh, I've got her link uh, for her channel is in the about section of the of my channel. So you can go over there and watch it. Um, but anyway, she was making her own jelly plate and she was talking about being patient at the, you know, when needing to wait for it to cool off and stuff. And I was like, yeah, that would be hard for me. That's the part that would be hard. There we go. So there's a page. Kind of looks silly. <laughs> oh, you know, though, it's not done. It's not done. It's not finished yet. I mean, I don't ever anymore jump on myself too much when things don't quite look right. Because even though it's not, you know, it just means it's not finished to me. It's like, yeah, you know, there's just, there's more that's going to go on here. Now, I, I got to be honest, I don't like the red as much as I thought I would. And it's probably just my method. I didn't do it, you know. Or maybe it was the paint. I don't know. But it's okay. I'm not, uh, I'm looking here real quick. I'm going to, um, 
Not that one. Where's my... I was going to say... Where is it? Oh, here we go. I'm going to use my vintage photo and just kind of hit this page a little bit. Um, splotching it. Just spotting it. Now what are you going to do, brilliant girl? <laughs> I'm like, oh, great. Let's see. I finished off some ephemera this morning, and it turned out really good. Um, and I was super, super happy with it. And it was funny. It was the simplest little things that I did. Um, just actually... I did like three, it was a bunch of tags that I've had forever, and um, I did like, I don't know, yeah, three, five, I did five of them, and all I did was I used, I used pieces of, um, I'm just putting some distress ink here, I used three pieces each on the ephemera, I didn't you know, drastically decorate or anything. And they turned out so cute. And uh, I was thinking they might, one of them or two of them might go good in this journal here, this folio. Yeah, I'm not liking this. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not. It's just me. I'm just being honest. Mm -hmm. What do I want to do? Well, I definitely need, you know, decoration here on this pocket. Let me grab our box that's got a bunch of finished stuff in it. We'll, we'll look at a few things and see what would fit. Let's see. Oh, this big guy. No, nah, he's not pink. But this has pink in it, and it might fit to kind of cover a little bit. Or... See, these are the ones I did this morning. Yeah, these little guys. I thought they turned out really cute. And they're just so simple. Oh, there's five. There were five of them. Where's the other one? Oh, here it is. Yeah. So they turned out really simple. Or cute. And, and just have, each has like three things, you know. So yeah, I like these a lot. Um, no, I don't matter. Let me see. I'm looking, guys. Sorry. Mate in the. Oh, wait. This might look good. I kind of like him. But he's like super stiff. He's one of those greeting cards. But he's got a card inside and a journaling card and then this tag, which this goes with the green on here. Not too, it's not too far off. So it would match. That is a totally bizarre page. Do we like it or do we hate it? I don't know. I just think it's... Just not sure. I wish I could hear you guys. I mean, it's, it's okay... This goes with what's down here. These, you know. I'm just, I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it. And I'm going to glue it in as like a side tuck, I think. Yeah. So I'll just glue down. And I'm using the hot glue because it'll hold better and it'll be quicker to dry and all that good stuff since we're on. Oh, man, I'm always out when I get started. Dang it. That is so annoying, Tara. Okay. What I do when that happens, I just run it back over the part where I was, um, like, to reheat the, the glue a little bit. Yeah. So I want those to show at the bottom. So I'm going to kind of bring it right there. And then I'll just clean up that excess glue in a minute.
and I'm using a dry wipe to do that so I don't burn myself really bad. It seems like if you give hot glue just a second to let it cool enough, then you can move it around a little bit. You have a few seconds of mo mo mobility before you're done, you know what I mean? So like you can, you know, if I wait too long, it'll be too cold, it'll dry too fast, and then... So there we go, there's our first page. I'm not crazy about it, but you know what? It is what it is, so. It's not my favorite, but he kinda helped. This, this thing kinda helped me to like it a little bit more. Mostly I think I'm, I'm not liking this, the red. I don't like the red. I shouldn't have done that. So we probably will not do that again, at least on top of this kind of paper, because obviously this envelope, it just, I don't know, it didn't, Maybe I should have put some, duh. Maybe I should have used the other thing that I have right here, some gesso. <laughs> that would probably help, right? Yes, it would, I know. You know what would also help is if I probably do something on this side that's gonna complement, of course. What do you guys think? Should I paint this with just, let's try it. Why not, why not, we're gonna do it. What time is it? Okay, we only have a few minutes left. So where's my little... I don't... Well, no, I do have a brush, actually. Let me see. This isn't the best brush, though, for gesso, I don't think. Uh, well, I'm going to put some... I don't use gesso a whole lot, so I... Actually, I don't ever use gesso, hardly ever, except for when I am working on a canvas. <laughs> yeah, so this is totally, um, I am definitely putting something in the center of this page, so I am not putting gesso at the center because I know I'm gonna do something else, so I, I don't wanna waste it, plus it doesn't, you know, you know what I mean, anyway. And this is a pocket, so I need to be really careful, too. Should have put a piece of paper in there. I know. I hear you. Even though you're not here with me yet, you'll be here with me next week, and you will be thinking that. <laughs> There'll be those of you who are really good at using gesso who are like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I am completely aware of my... Uh, in expertise I you know I just love to have fun and craft and um, and enjoy myself and have friends along with me while I do it so that's why I'm here doing this I'm not explaining to everybody just to those people who are wondering well if you're not a professional why are you here <laughs> because I have found that there are those people out there who ask that question, so. And again, we do not have a drying tool because Tara burned hers out. I'm just kind of wondering if the paint will do a little better on top of the gesso than just on top of this paper. And so that's why I'm gonna try it again because it at least, it needs to match, right? I mean. It at least needs to match, I think. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. That it should at least match a little bit, so. Okay. I'm gonna... How much is... This top part here and, like, all along here is already dry. There's a lot of it that's dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and start. Okay. I hope this works better. Better, better. Now we shall see. Hmm. Are you guys seeing a difference? Maybe a little bit. It looks a little smoother, I think. I'm also doing this first so that when I put down whatever I put down, it's going to kind of just frame it and 
be there. Sorry if my voice got really loud. I'm right on top of my phone because I'm standing up. I guess it's a little better. It is laying down. It's spreading out more smoothly. I know this is still wet. I have no idea what I'm going to put on the other facing page of this, but we'll see. Let's see if this will come up. I think. Or maybe it won't. <laughs> I may have to do a little deep cleaning for that to come up. That's all right. Okay. So now we're going to let that part dry a little bit. And of course we'll have to do more gold. What time is it? Okay. Get my fingers wet again with glue. Let's see if I can get this down a little closer. I won't have to stick my fingers in that bag so far. Maybe I can grab some larger parts. That might make it a little bit easier for me. Yeah, this dries fast. So that's good. And instead of rubbing right away, I'm just going to leave it and let it uh, dry. So are any of you making a folio along with me? I know that some of you mentioned you've made a folio. I think I remember a couple of you saying something about trying it. Have you started it? And how's it going, if you have? I'm just curious. I've, I've never done one like this. This is, um, yeah, this is completely out of my comfort zone and We're gonna we're gonna try to make a thing of beauty out of <laughs> out of this. I don't know. We'll see, right? Put a little there on the edge. Love the gilding flakes on the edge of stuff. There we go. Oh, what a mess. Oh, if you guys weren't so beautiful. All right, get on there. And hopefully by the time I get all the way around, the ones at the top will possibly be dry. And then I can go ahead and start burnishing this, you know? That's the dream. That's my hope. Because doing it this way, I'm, I'm not getting as much glue on my fingers as I usually do, which is nice. Because I'm usually totally covered. You know, this, this particular, these particular gilding flakes came with my set of wax from my wax seal thing. And um, there's a lot in here. 
it doesn't seem like it because the bag don't look that big but I mean there's like really a lot in there okay so I'm gonna see if this is yay it's dry my fingers aren't getting all sticky oh and by the way about my heat tool, I just thought of it. Um, I ordered a new one last night because <laughs> I told my husband, um, I cannot be without my heat tool at all. I need it. He said, okay. He goes, well, I'm glad it's not an expensive item. I said, I know, because I don't get the super big, huge one. And I did get to order this time because last time I didn't realize to pay attention to it at the time. I was so new. I was just excited to get one. And the one I got I mean, you've all probably seen it. It's on Amazon. But it's like, the cord is like this long. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't even, you know, I had to have it right on top of me. Well, the one I got is, the cord is six and a half feet long. But the but the actual heat tool was only, a, it was a dollar less than what I paid for the other one. But it does, I mean, it's got all the same, you know, things. It's just a regular heat tool. It's not anything super fancy. But I was laughing because I'm like, oh my gosh, I actually got one with a cord. And he kind of looked at me and I go, no, you don't understand. <laughs> Having one with a cord two inches long is a real nuisance. So, yeah. This part's kind of grainy because it wasn't quite dry yet. Once this dries really good, I will go, you know, I'm going to go back in. And like right now I could do this side and burnish over this. Make sure, yeah, because see, there's a lot of loose that's sitting on top. There we go, it's coming off. Okay, now this side is still definitely wet. Dang it, shucky, shucky, darn, darn. Well, not too, too. Wet. Like I said, I'll have to come back over it when after the video is done. And but right now, we'll just wipe this down a little bit. Oh, I used a lot on this one, huh? <laughs> this stuff is so sticky. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty, though. Let's see. This part needs covered. I can tell. I can tell. I am going to have a mess to clean up after this video, huh? I was going to do a second video, too. Because I got an Inspire Me for you guys this week. Oh, no. Wednesday is... Thursday's Inspire Me Day. Shoot. <laughs> I don't like to film out of order. I did that last week, and it's always confusing to me. Because when I go in to load them up, I'm like, okay, now which one was which? Because I got to get them on the right day. Um, <laughs> I know that's funny. That's, that's where I'm anal about stuff. You know, like where I'm really um, particular about things. And persnickety, as I like to say is like when I go to, to record, I'm like, I gotta record them in every day in order so that I know where it's gonna be, you know, on my phone. And then once I get it uploaded, I can delete it, and, you know. Um, but yeah, I saw the funnest uh, video I wanna do for Inspire Me. And it's what threw my wall out. So we'll probably be doing um, part of it from a different vantage point than my desk because I need to have my, it involves having my iron unless I can get my little iron to do the same thing that my big one did but I think you guys will be interested in it it's, it was pretty cool so now so now we're gonna um, what did I do oh yeah distressed a little bit I need to get this lid back onto my glue and I distressed I don't really need to distress too much on this side just because I've got so much red but I will because now what I'll probably do is do book pages on the inside of the envelopes, possibly. I don't know. I'm I'm trying not to let them bother me. Um, and like I said, I'll I'll reburnish this later when I know it's dry, dry, and that all of that won't flake off completely. Okay, so there's that, and I was looking because this has that cloth on it. And this is like a massive, it's, it's an envelope. It opens like this. And look, that matches. 
so it kind of flows. What do you guys think? I, yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, yeah. I kind of like it. I want a little more gold through here. Ooh, that's nice on there. Maybe that's what I should have done all the way around. It's just <laughs> my gold stick. Me and my gold stick. I have, I have gold stick will travel. That's me. Yeah, I'm thinking that I might put her. But let me double check. Let me just double check here. What's this one? Is this this is way too big? Oh, oh guys, I just dropped my basket. Surprise, surprise, right? <laughs> oh, Tana, Tana, Tana. You clumsy girl. Okay, let me see here. I'm just checking. She kind of goes too, huh? Because of the, well, does that red go? What do you guys think? The only thing that she doesn't really go with, she doesn't really go with them. Um, that where she kind of does a little more. I don't know, maybe I'm just fooling myself. I'm sorry, I'm trying to pick up my basket here, sorry. I had all these organized. Okay. There. I don't want my animals to get them. My cats get very curious. Yeah, I had all these organized. Now i got to redo them. <laughs> uh, what's this? Let's see. That's too purple, huh? Too much purple. I actually, I don't know if I have anything that's going to really necessarily go. Wait, wait. No. No, and it's too wide. So, the only thing I have that actually fits and that goes here is that. Yeah, I think I'm going to put her there. Okay. And I am going to glue it in. Should I glue it in as a pocket? Or... Nah, she's really big. She's covering up, like, all the gilding. You know? They go there. Huh. Yeah, they go there. Oh, yeah. And the inside of the paper goes with the red and everything. So, yeah, there we go. There's our piece, and we are going to glue it in. Are we going to glue it in as a pocket, or do we want to have it as a flat? Because it's journaling space on the inside, so I think we'll go ahead and do it as a pocket, just because I feel weird not doing it as a pocket. I know, I do this so haphazardly sometimes, don't I? just grabbed a little bit of that off of there because it was going to yeah see now with this one you can still see all of the gold and um, I'll probably possibly do maybe some of oh you know what I could do is some of that ribbon um, this one here would look really good like at the base of the page or something you know across even yeah We'll do something like that. Not today, not right this second, because I gotta let you guys go. But anyway, so there we go. So we've put um, we've put on our snap, okay. And we have that's what I'm. I kind of probably should have waited because once I put stuff in this, it's gonna get thicker, and I don't know if that is gonna work. I may have to end up removing this and doing a different closure and covering this up, which I mean. Is simple enough but you know at least you guys now know how to use these snaps because I did have one of you ask me um, to uh, show you guys how to, to use them so now you know <laughs> but I'm thinking I may have to remove them and do something else because I know once we fill this um, it's gonna get pretty you know tight but we'll see we'll see so anyway so we did this on here 
which is fun and it does not match at all but that's okay and then we did we did this guy and this is a pocket here and a pocket up here and a journaling card and then of course this is a pocket as well now we have this little uh, staggered booklet that we made the other day together in the on this page and we'll pull this here it's got glue is coming out there we go so now they have a journaling spot and then of course we also gave them another pocket this is also a pocket so i hope you guys like it what's happening to it so far i think it looks a little bit um definitely looks different that's for sure so let me know what you think be nice <laughs> i love you guys <laughs> be blessed each and every one of you and i will see you guys tomorrow okay Thanks for putting up with me. Bye, guys.